As far as uh, safety, so we know that uh, both vaccines with Pfizer and Moderna, now we have a lot of experience here in the United States. Um, among several million doses, number of cases of severe uh, allergic reaction or anaphylaxis, so this is severe enough to cause uh, breathing problems, is in the double digits. So we're talking about 10 to 20 events within several million doses. So an extremely, extremely uncommon event. Uh, in most cases, this has involved folks who have had prior allergic reactions related to vaccines. And so that's why it's really important to have a conversation with your primary care physician about whether or not uh, you might be uh, you know, at risk for this type of side effect fact, if you've had prior uh, vaccine uh, troubles in the past. We also now know that the mRNA vaccines, the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines do protect against infection. This is not, this is not well studied back in December, but we now have data uh, from several large sites in the United States that show where they basically tested people who got vaccine every week afterwards to see if they got infected with SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19. And very quickly, um, as far as the vaccine effectiveness against infection itself, 80% to 90%. So those who got vaccinated were significantly protected against infection, period.